What is up guys, it's your boy Dave John. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys a photo manipulation tutorial that uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do uh, in the past couple days, quite a few of you. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just gonna be like a quick 10 to f 10, 12 minute tutorial. Uh, so uh, yeah, so just basically how I would how I start off my um, speed arts, which could help you guys out here in the future. I don't know if uh, a lot of you like my speed arts or if you like um, what most people do is that person and then all the outer space stuff in the sky or and just that same kind of color correction. I don't I don't know what y'all like, uh, but. This will help most of you guys out who are wanting to uh, learn how to do manipulation. Um, so yeah, if you're just now starting and or want to get into it, download uh, my manipulation cutouts pack. Uh, just a whole bunch of cutouts for you guys um, that could help you all out. Um, basically, it's for people who can't really pencil that good. Uh, so. If you're having trouble pen tooling, hit me up. Uh, I might make a tutorial over that to help some of you guys out. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get started. First off, uh, since my computer screen is 1920 by 1080, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. But usually, it'll say 72 for your resolution, but I don't know, I saw somewhere to put the resolution at 300, so that's the way I've always done it. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would start off with, and I already got a uh, image ready for us that we can use. Um, that I've used with a couple of people who have done tutorials. I mean, not tutorials, but lessons with. And you can buy lessons for like five bucks, which uh, is pretty cheap. I don't know, may not be cheap to some of you, but it's cheaper than most people. I can uh, tell you that. Yeah, there's my zone background just was making. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get started. So you're gonna wanna go to my manipulation cutouts, and then the first thing, go to the one that says, where is it, sun, sun, sun. And usually that'll be like right there, so you can't really see it. But you're gonna want to grab the one that says just sun. I put like three suns in there or something like that. Yeah, three. And it'll it'll have this. Let me put it on normal really quick. It'll have this glare kind of effect. Um, but yeah. Where's it? Oh. So I start off using a sun and my manipulations to uh, I don't know it's just I like having good suns bright suns if you know what I mean but so yeah it'll have a normal but it won't have all this stuff erased it'll just be completely black and you're gonna want to set that at linear dodge add usually people put it on the screen I mean you can do that but it doesn't really could do screen and then you could do screen again. Doesn't really matter. But uh yeah, shit. Down do we do we do put on linear dodge add and it'll bring up these lines basically right here, right here if you can see them. And I've already erased them on this side and kind of right here. It I erased where it was with this image. Um, but yeah, that just made no sense. So linear dodge add, and then oh, make sure my opacity is up. Just kind of erase the straight lines to help blend in the sun better. Uh, and then so now we want to give a orange effect to the whole image. So now it'll be basically kind of one whole color and go to this half black half white circle down here at the bottom and then you're gonna go to solid color 
at the very top of that and then find a good orange uh, yeah then you're gonna want to make that soft light and you're like whoa it looks like crap um, but yeah you can do make the opacity around 10 to 20 percent 20 looks pretty good for this one and you can see it doesn't really affect the image that much but you can see look right here in this area and it'll you can see that it just gives the whole image this orange tint to it um, but yeah that'll make your stuff look better and then say I want to brighten up this area a lot more and uh, basically what I would do is I'd grab this magnifying looking glass it's like right up above the pin tool and you make sure it's on dodge tool and then make sure you select like the actual image or piece and basically there's three things shadows you can brighten up the shadows and then midtones are just kind of like a lighted just a small light um, just light it up barely and then highlights is bringing out like boom the, uh, the biggest effect out of all of those mm. basically higher you make the exposure more it's gonna put out you know uh, but yeah, make this put this back on 50 50 is always pretty good so say yeah bring up this part right here blah blah, blah. And then burn tool is what is going to bring in your shadows. And uh, yeah, so select midtones for that, and you can see it uh, gives more of a shadowy effect, and you can help blend that more, blend that in better. Um, kind of mix it up a bit. There we go. And then basically, just you can add whatever shadow to this mountain if you want, just whatever you want to do but uh, yeah burn tool will bring out the shadows um, once again say this you want this highlighted area darker select highlights and uh, that'll take the light out the most uh, then for shadows it's when it makes it like really really dark as you can see uh, basically in the darker areas is when that's more effective if you had it on highlights can't really tell a difference uh, but yeah that's just a way that I use my uh, lighting and shadows you could also it depends on what you're using it for like what I was just using it for was perfect but usually people um, will grab like the brush tool and then get like a white and say they wanted all this like like a uh, lit up more probably go to like soft light or overlay like bam puts it on uh, Usually people just put on soft light or over light, or that's what I do, I don't know. But yeah, you could help blend that in better if I was actually doing manipulation, but I'm not, just a quick tutorial. Uh, but yeah, um, basically that's how I start off my uh, photo manipulations just little details um, basically th the main thing you want to do in a manipulation is mainly it's all about basically the little things that make the piece even better like the shadows how they're going to be placed where it's going to be lighter in the image you know um, like for like for this Tobet, this rail right here, this train train track or whatever, but the metal part, it would have just been that darkish color. But I had the lights coming down in this area, and I, that's what I did. I grabbed the uh, dodge tool and just 
lit it up to where it uh, gave a nice effect, I think. Made it makes it more realistic, but it's the smallest thing, you know. Uh, so yeah, rain, rain, fog, all of that will give a uh, bit of a mood to your speed arts. Um, but yeah, this image was originally just like lit up like this. That's been, I don't know, it's pretty decent. If you're gonna go check this out, I'll link. We'll have an annotation of at the top. And then if you wanna if you want my manipulation pack, I'll put the link to the video. Yeah, the video. I'll put the link to the video up top. And uh yeah, you guys can go check that out. If you wanna go download it, doesn't really matter. Uh do what you wanna do. And yeah, just thanks for all your support. Um I'm Dare Joan and I'm headed out. Peace.